Hello, hello. This is Johannes Watery from Hold to Run. Today I'll be teaching you with Jetpack Compose and Kotlin how you can draw into any image file and save that new image file with your markings. So let's make a quick demonstration. Let's take a photo. We accept the photo. We have the uh, taken photo in here. Now we can make a drawing node into that file. Let's make a quick note also. Cool. This is going to be a very important file. So I'll give it a red priority. Like so. Now we have the new image in here. So you're going to be learning how to code that function with Kotlin and Jetpack Compose graphics. I don't use XML graphics anymore because since Google launched the uh, Compose I've been into it ever since. It is dynamically coded graphical solution which I like. It is effective. Uh, it's more flexible than XML and it's cool. Okay, but before we dig dive into the uh, coding solution, I'll make a quick tour about this uh, photo docs which I use to demonstrate today's function and uh, why I coded this application to begin with. So me myself, I'm uh, I'm an engineer. My daily work is uh, actually on safety solutions. So someone like me, for instance, has to go into field and take hundred, hundreds of photos and make a report or audit uh, uh, file from those hundreds of photos. So with this kind of application, you can spend multiple days in, in your site, comment, mark, and categorize all your items and then on the site you can upload those hundreds of photos in in organized way into your google drive and then you can forget about it and continue week later in the office and finish whatever you did on the site so let's give it a second There, it's been uploaded into my Google Drive. Let's take a look. Here it is. This is a typical audit report that you can expect to have for your customer or whoever you operate to. That's our photo that we just commented, gave it priority high and uh, make our drawing note into the image and all the rest items in here in a let's call it this is a typical audit style report there's going to be a lot to do later on in the office when you finish this but that's cool save me a lot of days to get it done with a single push of a button okay now we can dig into the uh, coding section and uh, let's start how did we actually draw this into the uh, image? So, this is Compose Graphics. If you're not familiar, please learn a bit before you dive in here. I'm not going to go through the basics, but uh, just to give you a short overview. I have implemented uh, this into scaffold, which is object within Compose. Then I'm using in that scaffold lazy column. 
into which I can implement my basic graphical objects such as my image canvas and node field and it, it's gonna allow it to be scrollable okay so the secret we're gonna need two canvases on the bottom we're gonna be drawing the actual image that the user has selected or taken with the uh, camera for instance so in the first canvas I'm transforming the image from the phone's memory into a bitmap and uh, in Compose when we want to redraw something on the uh, on the screen make it update we have to use mutable state so I, I had this uh, image bitmap as a mutable state and when I update this it's gonna refresh this graphical object with the new bitmap and then we have the image on the screen good the screen can differ in size so I had to make a size cropping this is my custom function you can try to do something similar or use this recode this and use it as your own but pretty much what I'm doing I'm inserting in here the bitmap width height and uh, as a target size I'll be always using the screen width that's the uh, maximum limit in size I'll be determining which is the dominant size if it's the width is larger or the height is larger and that's gonna tell me if it's if the photo is in portrait or in landscape and based on that maximum allowed size I'll be cropping the width and height into its uh, uh, size okay that's the size cropping now that we have a decent sized image we can actually uh, assign it into the bitmap so we have the image bitmap data it, can, it could be null so I have to go through let function which is safe doesn't cause a crash then we use the uh, actual bitmap object and uh, make it create scale bitmap and here in inside the let we have it that's the uh, actual bitmap and then we insert the uh, requested size for the width and height and there it is now we have the new a uh, uh, scaled bitmap to be presented on the screen we'll be using compose canvas object uh, click to bounce is required then we have to get the dbs from the pixel size for this you can always uh, transform the pixels into dbs you by using context resources display metrics and densities which you're going to be dividing the pixels with with this and then you get the uh, dp size i i'm using way too many float transformations in here you don't need to actually use those and uh, in here i'm then getting the dp the size into dp could be simplified now that i'm looking at it anyway now the size has been given into the canvas and then we can draw the scale bitmap into this draw scope and there it is again through let because it could be null it's not gonna crash but if it exists we will be displaying the bitmap as image bitmap good now it has been presented at the bottom of my screen then we need to create another canvas which is actually going to be the drawing board that we can use to track the uh, the lines that the user could be drawing over the image for this one i have uh, created another compose object called custom canvas view and uh, it'll be drawing on top of my canvas that's the order on the bottom and then on top my custom canvas view 
and in here I'll be passing the same mutable state uh, image bitmap value as on the actual canvas because I'll be getting the size again from this into my drawing bitmap. So we cannot, at least I'm not aware how you could draw without Android View in Compose, so that's why I am using Android View object inside this Composable. And in here it lets us pass in our custom view canvas view class. So I have created this my canvas view and will be passing in the context of this Android view our view model because all the mutable state objects required to make it refresh. I can then access these inside my custom canvas view and then we'll be passing in the uh, bitmap image bitmap into this canvas view. Okay, let's open this custom class. All the objects that we passed in here are, are there. Context, we had the view model, a uh, couple of other attributes, the styles are in here. Okay, then we are pretty much returning abstract compose view into the composable. But here are the variables that I passed in also bitmap. Uh, then I uh, have my path, will be requiring path. This will only reside inside this custom class. I didn't pass that in here because the path is important. The path is actually the object that's going to be tracking whenever I click or push with my finger on the screen and it's going to be tracking all the x, y coordinates. And when we know the coordinates within the path, we can finally update the Compose graphical object of the canvas and make it draw those as a line. Good. So, then we have a parameter to define the size of the line. And uh, it's going to be a uh, relation to the actual screen width. To me, this relation seems fine. And here we have our actual drawing function, which makes the uh, 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 canvas draw something on it. So this class can function independently when I just uh, make it refresh itself. And you're going to need to override in, in this content function with this composable. Um, because this console composable is the one that is going to be drawing on the canvas. So in here, we're going to repeat the same thing as we did on the actual image canvas. Again, I'll be defining the crop size exact same function inside my custom class as I showed you earlier. Okay, I have a decent sized image. Actually, it has to be the exactly same size as the actual image. Then I'm detecting if the scroll permission can be allowed. I can enable this, disable, enable this when I need to. It's going to allow me to uh, make it scroll or if it's enabled, uh, then it only draws and the, it doesn't move, like so. Then we had the undo. If the image is not yet uh, saved, we can still undo whatever we did in here. But when it's saved, we cannot undo anymore. And the undo will be done by resetting the path. So then it's going to clear. And then we're going to just set the mutable state of undo into false. So it's not going to always undo everything when we refresh this class composable again while we're drawing. Then we are going to need the uh, recompose request. Again, 
these are in my view model. I'm just going to be incrementing this value whenever I want that uh, custom canvas view composable to refresh and redraw. And then we have the edit function. The edit function is just to enable when the user wants to draw something like so. I just enable it. It was refreshed and now it can draw something on the can custom canvas view. Good. And then finally we can implement the custom canvas in here. This is the composable that is going to be presenting and tracking the actual drawing. So again we do the same click to bounce and uh, we're going to be getting the dp size from the pixel size uh, and we're going to be letting it know when the scroll permission is enabled disabled uh, and then we'll be tracking the user events so this is important that on the canvas you can you have to track the user event so the event is going to tell you the x and y positions of where the finger is going to be residing on the screen and if our canvas edit is currently enabled it's going to be updating and drawing the uh, the canvas so when user has landed his fing finger on the screen we get the event of action down so then we're going to be disallowing the scroll permit uh, we're going to be constantly recomposing whenever this kind of a change happens so we can refresh if he is moving his fingers uh, and we're going to be updating the path with move to function so when he lands his finger on the screen that's going to be our starting point and uh, that's where we land update the first x y coordinates move to when the user is going to be moving so now he landed and now he moves moving his finger we're going to do the exact same things while he landed his finger on the screen recomposing and we're going to be passing in the new value into the uh, mutable state of recompose and then we're going to be sending the line path line to to the new x y coordinate and that's how you are going to be incrementing the new coordinates into the path and we're going to be finishing when he lifts his finger from the screen so we're going to be getting action up and then we reset the recompose and we finish and uh, the draw path function is the actual function that is going to be drawing the line at the end of the uh, composable function and the path will have its new values we're going to just give it a color and and the stroke and it's going to be drawing the line into our uh, custom canvas view like so quite complicated while explaining but that's how it's operating that's how you can draw into a canvas object in compose okay let's go back to the uh, upper level compose class now we have pretty much made a mess in here and we want to combine these two images in bitmaps into one so i'm tracking save request in one of my uh, mutable state uh, uh, variables in here so when this when i'm setting this into true state that's indicating me that i want it saved now that's the moment that i'll be combining those two uh, independent bitmaps into one image so among other few checks when i'm requesting save for instance going back that's the moment when i'm saving if there was an image the bitmap wasn't null there was also path path 
still had some data it means there was actually something drawn something new drawn on on the uh, drawing canvas then I'm gonna make the uh, combined bitmap so I'll be generating a, a, a draw bitmap with generate bitmap and I'll pass in the view of the, of this with it it's I'm gonna be passing this specific view in here uh, I'm gonna be passing its width and height and this function from my image utils it's gonna be returning me a bitmap so I'll create new bitmap with target width and height and with bitmap format then I'll get a canvas with that bitmap uh, then I'll give it a layout and uh, tell the uh, dimensions of it and then I draw a canvas in that view and then I return the bitmap okay then we are going to create a scaled bitmap from that draw bitmap so this is the place that I'll be implementing the uh, combined bitmap so it'll get new size in this and then we create the combined bit bitmap from the actual bitmap and the scaled bitmap so create single image from multiple images we pass the original bitmap and then we pass the uh, scaled bitmap that we have just created and in here we have the uh, original and then the uh, scaled bitmap and with bitmap function we can create new so there's gonna be the first image we're gonna need to tell the first image width and first image height and give the uh, the configuration so we have a result then we have a canvas and then we're gonna be drawing canvas draw bitmap the first image and then we're gonna say canvas draw the second image that's gonna get the combination done and then we return the result as a combined bitmap quite complicated while trying to explain and here it is if it was a success it's not a null we'll be saving that new image bitmap into my file system so I can display it later on while the user continues operating with the application okay that and that's how it was done wow that was something didn't remember how complicated it was to create this uh, drawing function probably somebody can tell me if it can be done in, in an easier way but I do remember that uh, after I was able to solve this and get it in uh, get it the function it was the first function that I actually called an algorithm that's how I remember it was the first function yeah that's how complicated it was to come up with this idea how can you combine two images into one after you're drawing on on uh, want to draw something onto it and then combine yeah there it is if you like what i do go go check out my homepage in holdtorun.com you can see the application in there and of course if you want to try it go into google play you can find the photo docs in there download it's available for android and uh, we'll see you later